Good morning, Divine Masculines. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. This is another week. And time flies, doesn't it? We're already in April. Woo! It's going fast. It's going so fast. It's almost like we're in this vortex of time that is spinning and spinning and spinning around. And before you know it, that day is over. Wow. Let's see what's going on in the Divine Masculine's mind space for this week. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of energies, a lot of uh, predictions I did last week. Uh, came already out, you know, that the, the firing up and the aggression and, you know, uh, all these things that is, is, is happening. It's uh, the Aries energy that sometimes can't control its, its, uh, its, its system. And, um, and that uh, gets from violence into, uh, you know, communication and everything like that, internet, uh, harassing, uh, bullying, uh, you know, it's all the shadow, it's all the shadow, and it was even worse uh, when we, it's new moon now, but two, three days ago, it was a uh, dark moon, and it was even worse, you know, then the masculine energy comes out, and, and uh, together with Saturn, and you know, it's it was really horrendous, and I was I w I thought by myself I feel all these energies around me. I st <laughs> I stay inside because when uh, dark moon hits uh, Glastonbury, you all know what's happening, right? So let's see what's going on in the mind space of the masculine. I was like. Go within, transform and trans transmute my own shadow, seeing what's going on uh, within myself at the moment. And uh, I, at the moment, in the in the shadow tide time, I couldn't find really a lot of stuff because I was just meditating and I was just going within. So I I I just felt the bliss. And uh, probably the only thing what came up for me in the in 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 the in in these dark uh, times were dreams, you know. And and I had f I I know exactly when my my dreams are light are are in in the other realm. But now the, my my dreams were darker, so I knew that there is uh, an energy moving. Uh, during the night space to to attack me you know to to mess with my uh, to mess with my energies so that's what is uh, coming out of it and what's in the divine <laughs> masculine mind space shadow resolving the shadow looking the shadow in the eye and uh, putting the light on it you know, and don't walk away from your shadow, just acknowledge your shadow and uh, what's there. And it's, it's, it's the fight, what's going on between light and dark. And we, we all see that, what's going on in this world, you know, light, dark, fighting, uh, uh, war. And, and we just dismiss that when we go and beyond that, you know, it's, it's just... It's, it's looking your shadow in the eye and it has to do with, you know, uh, acknowledging your shadow. It's acknowledging your shadow. It's not walking away from it. And, uh, you know, your shadow also has a, a, a use for you. It has a use uh, to transform. And now, exactly in this time, new moon... Uh, in Aries, again, um, conjunct uh, Jupiter and Neptune, but also uh, on um, um, Chiron, the Sun, and Mars is conjunction. So it's, 
you know, it's also the wounded warrior that needs to be healed. And you're going through this, those, those phases. But it's confronting your own shadow, you know, go in your own shadow, confront it. And, you know, what, what is it all about? You know, what, what is your shadow? Yeah, I know my shadow. And um, when, when I'm, I'm discovering that there is so much things to going on, you know, I'm just going in meditation and shine the light on it. And yeah, if, if we all would do that, it would be much easier, right? It would be much easier to deal with everything and all your emotions, okay? So what is his higher self saying about... Uh, let's first go to the heart space. Let's go to the heart space first. The heart space is partnership and manifestation. Partnership and manifestation that's in the heart. So uh, uh, alliances. So it's it's really about you know working together, co-create together, being in that space where you connect with each other, uh, discuss the things, uh, what you feel, how you feel, um, and it's it's much easier uh, to be in that space. But it could be that the shadow is, is starts to overrule that, um, and then it becomes a, a, a power a power play. And you don't want to have that, you know, when you're coming from that heart space and you're coming from that light space. You know, it's a partnership, it's uh, a working together, uh, you know, co-creating, but also, you know, in, the, in that, in all these partnerships, there are different aspects, you know, that can also come together. It's, it's like weaving the web, you know, weaving the web and throwing the threads. And um, and then the song of throw uh, of uh, sowing the seeds of love is coming through. So um, yeah, it's go there, go there in that heart space with love and 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 um, compassion. Okay. So what is his higher self saying about himself? Of the divine masculine what is his higher self saying about the divine masculine please one card please what is his higher self yes thank you choose wisely wow Choose wisely. Choose wisely with what you do, with you, uh, uh, with who you're going into partnership. Uh, choose wisely uh, what you're calling in in your path. You know uh, what kind of people. Um, you know it's about. You know, it could be that the divine masculine has so many choices at the moment, and he doesn't know what to choose, but. You know, they say choose wisely. You know, it's uh, in some cases you're in alignment and you fly off together. And in some cases, you know, everything is is not synchronizing. It's not working together and you have to let it go. And um, because when you see the red flags, as soon as you see the red flags, and for everybody is that different, right? Because everybody has different standards. Everybody has a different view of things. But if you get uh, the red flags of a certain behavior, you know, uh, of someone, withdraw, get out. Because it is repeating and repeating and keep repeating itself. If, if you don't, if you don't uh, recognize those red flags. And sometimes uh, when we are in that pleasing mood, you know, in that pleasing energy, 
then uh, you you say okay i i don't look at that red flag and then uh, when you only stop when it's right in front of your nose right and and you're getting stuck in it and that's not the way to do it you recognize the red flag when they're pulling up the red flag right over there you know and and then you make already adjustments for yourself and when you see that okay this is a continuously behavior of 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 someone or from yourself then uh, do something about it and be honest to yourself really honest to yourself and not because you want someone in your life or you want to this or you, you know you can't control that if you and you need to be honest to yourself is that the right person for you to walk the path with if it's not you know it's not and you're only deceiving yourself but also is it fair to the other person to let them hanging on a string you know because of your only own own gratification of not saying no that you can't uh, or that you're afraid of, of, of being alone or uh, you know all these things are coming up so be aware of that you know be aware that you always uh, try to be as honest with yourself you owe it yourself to be honest with yourself otherwise you're keeping repeating the same patterns and the same people are coming on your path till you learn your lesson and the first thing you need to be doing is being honest to yourself. And then the other part is coming up. Uh, and I, I, I had to deal with that um, because um, you don't want to hurt someone else. But if you're not truthful against yourself, you know, then eventually you will suffer. You will be the one that suffers and you need to be honest with everybody around you. So, okay, let's see. What is the uncomfortability? Oh my gosh, the truth for huh? the uncomfortability for the divine masculine is the truth speaking his truth you know what he really feels what he's feeling uh, for the connection what he's feeling about himself um and it's it's just i already channeled it i this is a rep otherwise I, I will get in in repetition but uh, I just channeled this one and, and just keep the balance, you know, the balance between everything. You know, if you feel something is out of alignment, then step back in and get it back in balance again for yourself. Because, and it doesn't matter what time it takes, you know. When, I'm, when I uh, feel that there is dark moon coming up and, you know, I'm three days on my own because I need to transmute that energy, not only for myself, also collectively. So if we are doing our job and everybody would do their job um, by honoring, you know, those dark days. Um, and sometimes it comes up and you feel it that it's your shadow. And um, and sometimes it, it doesn't come up because, you know, you already work through so much. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about honoring yourself and honoring uh, the, the things where you're going through. So, uh, the, speaking the truth, you know, to, uh, that's, 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 yeah, difficult or, yeah, it's not, 
it's not easy for the divine masculine let's say it that way you know it's it's not an easy thing to do um because it could be that there are so many child wounds you know that they are uh, still uh, try to avoid but yeah if something doesn't make you happy you know it doesn't make you happy and 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 you are going to suffer if you let it going and going and going and going you know it's rather to to say and you see the the red flags from 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 a distance then it's right in your front of your face right then you could be months weeks years along the line and then you already knew what you knew in the beginning you know that it wasn't meant to be that it wasn't the right one that it wasn't you know i i would never uh, i would never linger again never in my life if if i see something that's not and i see the red flags well you can have two chances with me and the third time it's a strikeout right so um yeah you you it's um <laughs> strikeout yeah <laughs> great guys so that's it <laughs> that's 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 what what the divine masculine needs to learn to honor to honor his truth and that's what my the what my inner masculine says you know then it strike out um what is he going to do about it to move forward make different choices and make decisions on all levels you know, uh, that's what he's going to do about it, you know, and um, it could be that um, there is balance, you know, there needs to be balance between on the money level, on the on the partnership, on the love and, and on the uh, on the communication. So it's really good to be clear uh, towards each other. Um, with who you're working with or who you are in a partnership with or um, yeah yeah and most of the time yeah, because it could be uh, um, it could be a um, combination of the shadow of the mind right um, you have to uh, make make a decision for yourself on what level you want to make a change on what level you want to make a, a, a different uh, response on it uh, how to uh, respond on the things uh that's happening you know you can you can think about it but you need to be aware is it come is it coming from the mind space uh is there an element of manipulation in it is it an element of um anger in it or is it an element of uh really from the heart space and you're coming from love because it's been felt, it's been felt, you know, the people in our, in our, um, in our field, you can't fool them, because you can say, yeah, but I'm coming from a heart space, yeah, you feel it's not coming from the heart space, you feel it's coming from the mind space, you know, so the choices and decisions that you made, um, it's the best when it's in balance, in balance by the heart and by the mind. So that's that's really, uh, really beautiful. And the truth will balancing it all out. You know, it's 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 uh, it's your truth. It's 
Yeah, and you you can't um, you you can't um, how do you say it um, argue with someone else's truth is if they feel that way, then they feel that way. That's it. You know, if you feel that way, it's your feelings and it's not uh, in alignment with your standards. And that's it. And it's then it's just acceptations, uh, acceptation of each other's uh, boundaries. You know, and, and that's it. And if you go into fight with it, if you're going into that shadow with it, then you're getting fights, then you're getting arguments, then you're getting disagreements, then you're getting resentments, then you're getting frustration. And out of that anger and frustration, if you if you let it go on long and long and long enough, you know, you're going in that depression mode. And you're saying, poor me, uh, you know, you're going in the pity mode, you know. And when you're pity yourself, then uh, you're getting in depression. That's it's just a whole chain of it, and and if you know how it works, if you know how uh, those stages um, and I I you can call them grief, you know, uh, you can call them uh, stages of grief. Where where you're going, and and where do you tackle it? You know, if you feel okay, there's anger, there's frustration, and you know that after that that there is depression coming in, you need to be already in front of it to tackle it. So it's better not to get in that in that uh in that disagreement, in that argument, but accepting the things how they are from one another and knowing that it has nothing to do with you. That's someone else's standards. And then let it go. And there's no fight. There is no... Uh, because you're both coming from that heart space. I see where you are at. I know where you are at. And I... 22, 22. And, and that's it. Let it go and let it flow. Let it flow. That's, that's the only thing. Let it flow. Things are how they how they are. We all want to try to change things and control things that we can't, can't control. And I I'm still amazed that still amazed about sometimes about myself that I I feel the control coming up and saying why do I want to control this? I I don't have control over it. You know, I don't have control over the weather. I don't have control over anything. I don't have control over any person. So why would I control them? That's what I learned. To let go of the control. To let go of, of the system. To let go of everything that's holding you back. And that's where the Divine Masculine is at. At the moment. That's his learning point. That's his learning point. Okay? So, if you're influenced by uh, the masculine energy, and we all are, and you feel that the, the masculine wants to come in and take charge and take control um, over things, you know, as a feminine, you need to stand up. And then you need to stand up and you need to address what you don't like in, in, that, in that energy. But it could be if you're coming from a place of fear, if you're coming from a place of um, a past life with violence, then it could be that there, that there is a, um, a system in you that, that uh, or starts to fight or doesn't say anything. It's, then the system is shutting down. And that's the shadow that you need to work through for yourself. So that's that's a lot for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. A lot to be concerned about. And um, and not, not always addressing the things um, how they are. If you, if you really know 
that uh, that it would hurt someone you know okay let's see what is going on with the twin flame how does the divine masculine sees the twin flame relationship or the union let's let's say that well, that's a lot Wow. Uh, the third eye chakra is opening. And there is a mental conflict within the masculine about uh, this union. And they, he knows it's destined. It's, it's destiny. He knows it's destiny. So he is in this mental conflict because... All the memories of love are coming up. And the only thing you can do is uh, hold that fire and let it go. It can also mean that, um, <laughs> okay, thank you, that there is a lot of um, mental conflict because of spell work, you know. Uh, know that if you do spell work to keep someone attached or to um, uh, to um, manifest someone into your life, know that it could backfire to you, you know. And um, and I hear a lot of love spells are be done, you know, to uh, to manifest that person into your life. So don't go there because that's all. That's a control issue also. That's your shadow side that is coming up because you're seeing with your third eye that there is something coming their way, what is probably destined to be, and the mind wants to get the control to hold it back, you know, and then you have to let it go. You know, it's, it's, it's the memories of love you have that is difficult for you to sustain in your life because not everything is bad in your life, you know. Not everything uh, is going, is going uh, bad or, or if you're in a, in a relationship and uh, the last months is only fights, you know, there were also good times. And uh, you need to concentrate on those good times and let it go, you know, burn a candle for it and, and let it go and, and hold it in your heart space and let it go because that will always be there. There is no separation. So what is, that's how the divine masculine thinks about, you know, the divine feminine. So what is the higher self saying about this union? Awareness. That there is enough awareness in this relationship um, to, to come together. They, they're both aware. They both know how they can do things. Um, there is consideration of both sides. Uh, it's coming from the heart space. It's flowing. And, um, you know, they, they both see, see the magician in each other. And that's the, that's the beautiful thing of it, you know. Um, it could be that the divine masculine was uh, from his path for a long time. And now he's coming back on, this, in, on that path uh, again, where he discovers that the awareness is, is, is increasing. And in, in everything. And that's why he sees, okay, I could be that he mistreated his divine feminine. You know, and uh, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, because it wasn't in alignment. And now they see it's, it's uh, you know, they are awakened, they are grounded, they know what they're thinking and, and talking about. And, you know... Maybe feeling, yeah, coming back together. You don't know. 
And that's how the higher self saying, higher self saying there's enough awareness for both of them to create a, a beautiful uh, alignment. So that was what it is. Can't make it less, can't make it more. <laughs> it is what it is. And you meet each other where you are at. And if you are both um, patient enough uh, to grow together, uh, you know, you can, you can grow and you can make uh, really um, amazing, amazing work together. You can accomplish a lot together. And that's, that's what, what the whole idea is about, you know have that, that, that union and that work together and create uh, a better world and that, that contains everything, everything, nothing is left out. Okay, so this is it for this week and uh, I'm really looking forward to this week because um, it's, it's really amazing. It's really an amazing time we're in. And yeah, uh, you, you really feel the, the energy of Aries hitting in uh, or, uh, during this time. Because a lot of energy is shifting and um, a lot of energy um, may be transformed. So... If you want a private reading for yourself or for your Divine Masculine, you know, next week I have some spots left. I have two, two places available for next week. So if you're interested or if you want to work on your, um, on your blocks with, uh, or uncomfortabilities with EMDR, that's possible. Uh, release your trauma and you will start living again. Okay, so see you next week. Thank you for watching and uh, have a beautiful, beautiful week. Thank you. Bye-bye.